So hello guys, how are you today? So this was a surprise that I have prepared for you. Uh, I hope that you try to enjoy this new learning methodology. It is really different, but I hope that you try to uh, enjoy these new activities. So um, as we have learned yesterday, uh, today we are going to put in practice present perfect. So what are the, those, what are those characteristics? Subject plus verb to be, that it is am, um, is, or are, and the verb is with ing. You can't remember, you can't, sorry, you can't forget that um, it is important that you use the am, um, is, or are. If you don't implement, if you don't add the am, um, is, or are, you cannot use the verb with ing. So again, how is the structure? subject plus verb to be, um, is or are, and the verb with ing. Also the complement, you can't forget that. On the other hand exists the um, interrogative form. What is the interrogative form? So the um, verb to be, it's at the beginning of the sentence. And the subject is in the second part. So what does it mean? So for example, are they um, working in a company? So remember the question mark, it is really important. You cannot forget the question mark. That is the best thing that you can implement when you are going to write in an interrogative form because that is the way in which we are going to recognize if it is a, que a question or if not. Um, what happened with the, with the negative form? So the, the noun starts at the beginning again and we add the verb to be with a negative form. So for example, they are not working in a company, for example. Or we can say in a short form, we aren't working in a company. So please remember that the verb to be, it is important that you add in that sentences, okay? So guys, I love you so much. I hope that you enjoy this new activity and bye-bye. Kisses.